Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 FOC comics to buy this weekend. I've narrowed it down. Everything will be available at economicsandcomics.com. After this video hits all weekend long, I will be at Swornfest, but I get it out for you now. That's what she said. And if you want to go to my store, you can. You can also use code ECON for 6% off. Let's get to it. Okay, sickos. There's some interesting books. I mean, there's a couple for sure, but there's some great stuff. Let's start with cover buys. So first up, we have Amazing Spider-Man 238 Facsimile Edition. First Hobgoblin or whatever. Um, and that would be fun if you never got to read it and you want to. There it is. Um, also, Black Widow 15. I'm not sure what's going on in there. I hear that book is really good. This cover is sick. By Hughes. On her back it says, in blood, Black Widow 15. Um, Hulk 4 Otley second printing, which shows where the Hulk's fighting like zombies and stuff. Spider-Woman 21, the David Nakayama cover. Carnage Forever, pretty sick. Barbarella number eight by Carla Cohen is dope. And Red Sonia number seven, cover D by Sokamaka. And I don't know if you're interested or not, but Buffy Vampire Slayer 25th Anniversary cover F, the Scooby Gang photo cover. Okay? Now, at number 10, I'm going to knock out four number ones, and then it'll be one, two, three, all the way down. Okay? This is going to be a quick video, and thanks for watching. By the way, if you're new, subscribe. Okay, subscribe and comment and something interesting, your favorite comic, and give me a like if you would like to, please. Okay, number 10. We have Batman Beyond the White Knight, number one. After 10 years, they're coming back and they're doing it again. That's what she said, and it should be interesting. I'm going to jump on this one. A new book called Ghost Cage, number one. Uh, let's see here. When his megacorp power plant falls under attack by terrorists, the super scientist who revolutionized and controls all energy on Earth sends his ultimate creation, an adequate employee, in to destroy his most monstrous secrets. Also, sensational Wonder Woman special number one, the Yoon cover. Um, I'm interested in this cover, pretty much. And Trial of Amazon's number one. Finally, the Decal cover is being released. That is a pure cover buy, okay? But it's a number one, too. Could be some stuff in there. Number nine, we have Fantastic Four 42. Um, it's going to be The Thing versus Mr. Fantastic. And they're working their way into different things, too. She-Hulk will be in there. Number eight is Silk, number three. And it's cover A's got The Witch on the cover. Um, I don't know. I didn't read number two. Uh, if she had a fur first full appearance in there, but whatever. She's on the cover of number three. If it's something that pans out, maybe get that. Number seven, we have Marauders, number one. New team, new villains. Possible first appearance in there. Really easy. Number ones, I'm getting it. Number six, Department of True 17. I like both covers. And they're going to talk about the how the moon landing is fake. I think this will be a good one to get. Number five is Immortal X-Men number one. There's a lot of good covers. I do like the uh, Last Supper variant. Um, it's the Quiet Council. They ru rule Kokoa uh, for better or for worse. Let's see. Secrets to be revealed and learn some secrets are more sinister than others. Okay. Number four is Harley Quinn 13. I think there's going to be a new appearance in there. Let's see here. For one very murderous new vigilante roaming the streets, a new homicide detective convinced I'm the killer, and the acclaimed Spice World film not being a single streaming platform. Oh, that's it. Basically, year two starts here with a new arc, brand new characters, and some all too familiar faces from the past who aren't so happy. I don't know. I would maybe pick it up. Maybe pick it up for a possible appearance there. You don't have to get any of these. I'm just telling you my favorite out of 400 to 500 comics, okay? Uh, number Now we're down to the nitty-gritty. Three, two, one. And I want to explain these to you very carefully. 
We Have Demons, number one, is a book by Schneider, Capullo, and Glapion. They did Batman together. Now they're doing this book. Since the very dawn of man, legends have been told of the conflict between angel and demon. Lamb, a woman of science, dismissed these stories as just that fiction. But when the loss of a loved one leads to discovery of a hulking, benevolent demon, Lamb realizes that her life is about to undergo a dire new direction. So, I have a good feeling of this book. Okay? Now, here's the catch. Here's some things about this you know. There's cover A by Capullo. There's a cover B. Cover C is like a foil of A. And cover D is by Momoko. But there's a cover E. It's a 1 in 50. But here's the problem. You have to order 50 copies of the Momoko D cover. You can't order A, B, or C. You have to order 50 copies of the Momoko D cover to get one E, one in 50, signed by Snyder and Capullo. Why they're signing the Momoko, Snyder, why they're signing the Momoko cover and making you buy 50 of them to get their signed one in 50 Momoko, I have no idea. I have no idea why they're making you buy that one. For me, I like cover A and B and C. Um, but I do like this book, okay? I'll try to make some sort of weird deal if you need to get the cover E, but you're going to pay for it. It's really odd that they're making you, instead of buying A, B, C, U, D, they're making you buy just D and 50 copies of it. So whatever, okay? I, I like the sound of that book, though. Number two is Miles Morales 36. It's time to get on Miles. Things are going to start happening, guys. Miles of Miles from home. Miles and Shift are lost in the multiverse. That's all you need to know. Multiverse. The things are going to start adding up in the building 36, 37, 38, where you're going to be want on the, want to be on this book. It also says shh, spoilers. They're not telling us anything, so maybe jump on that. And my number one is Hulk five without a doubt, because of the release of this Peter Parker alter universe Hulk hybrid about to fight the Hulk. They showed him briefly in number five, at number four. So I, I don't know if it's a cameo or not, but number five, I can guarantee is going to be in that book. And the cover's sick. It's Donnie Cates and all that. It also says, Bruce Banner thinks his control over the Hulk is now absolute, but what if he's wrong? That's kind of saying, oh, something's happening here. Maybe something else besides Peter Parker, Hulk, Kaiju thing. Maybe it could be the implantation, if that's a word, of that new Dark Hulk. I don't know. You need to get on Hulk now, though. I'm telling you now. Get on Hulk now. And that's it for my top 10 FOC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to enjoy my weekend. We got I got videos lined up for you all weekend, and I'll be vi recording videos at Sworn Fest all weekend. Um, throw me down a like, subscribe, and I'll see you sickos later.